My name's Liz and I'd just like to have a talk to you and point out some of the features of this unit here which is the Coffee Pro. Now the Coffee Pro comes in two sizes. There's a long Coffee Pro and there's the short Coffee Pro. The short one has short written on the packaging, the other one obviously doesn't. So it comes in the two lengths. Generally speaking, the longer length uh, Coffee Pro is for the one litre jug and the shorter Coffee Pro is for the half litre jug. Both of them come with a coffee clip and that's to attach it to the side of the jug. Now they're made of food grade stainless steel, so that's an advantage. Many of the un other units on the, uh, on the market don't have food grade stainless steel. The other thing about this which is um, quite good for, which is unique for this product, is you only need a small amount of milk. Because even though the probe is this long, the measuring, um, the temperature measurements that are done for the unit are only in the very, very tip, right at the base. So even if you had that much milk in the bottom of your jug, you could, if you could froth that much, if you can get the frother down that far, then um, you don't have to have any more than that. It will measure that quite, uh, quite readily. As I said, both of them come with the jug safety clip. Um, the unit is also waterproof. Um, you could run it through a dishwasher if you want to, but dishwashers are a little bit hard to get along with sometimes, so it's probably better just to wash it in, in, the, uh, in the sink with everything else that you wash in the sink. To put the clip on and take the clip off or to adjust it on your jug, you squeeze the two sides together and you poke the probe through until it slides fairly freely and wherever you let it go, it locks on. And once it's locked on, you can put it onto your jug and then it's quite sturdy. There's two ways you can put it on your jug. You can put it on that way so it goes straight down the side or you can put it on that way so the probe goes into the middle. So there's the two ways of putting it onto the jug too. People have their own various ways that they like to do it. Now, a couple of the unique features for the Coffee Pro. First, biggest unique feature is that the mark dial. It has three markings on it. The first one is it's marked for soy milk. Now, soy milk actually heats up and cools down at a different rate to regular or low-fat milk. Um, it, heat, it heats up, once you've heated the soy milk up, it continues to heat within itself for quite a bit longer, for about another 10 to 20 degrees sometimes and it also cools down a lot, a lot different as well. So the first marking on there, the orange marking, is for soy milk. And that stops your, uh, stops your heating earlier than you would do for regular milk because as I said, it's gonna continue to heat up and you want that nice creamy, frothy milk. You don't want something which is bitter. The next marking on there, the green marking, is for regular milk. That's regular or low fat. So full fat or low fat, just regular milk. The other marking that's on there is red, and that's for hot. That's for people who actually say to you, I want my coffee hotter than, than you normally do it, or I want it hotter than regular lattes, etc. If you use dials which are marked, then you're gonna get consistency of quality. If your customers come into your cafe or your restaurant and they like the quality that you make, and when you make a hot coffee for them, you make it exactly the hot coffee that they like, the right temperature that they like, then they will continue to come back. So if you always use the dial, you always use the marked dial, you're gonna get that consistency and people will come back because they like your consistency, they like your quality. So that's the Coffee Pro. It's marked, it's got the dial marked. Um, the recommended drinking temperature for any hot drink or for any hot food for that matter as well is a maximum of 65 degrees. So even though, say, the hot goes over 65 degrees, your customers may not drink it immediately, but that's what's recommended by the World Health Organization. Now, the other thing about the Coffee Pro is it can be calibrated. So if you want to uh, check the calibration of it and you're not quite happy that it's hitting 100 or something like that, you can use this nut, which is just underneath the dial itself, and you can actually calibrate the unit. So all in all, they are a brilliant unit, the Coffee Pro, specially marked dial, only one I know of that's marked for soy milk, and a lot of people, I drink soy milk, so I know a lot of people don't get it right when they make a latte. Get that consistency right and your, your customers will beat a path to your door. Thanks. 
This is a close-up of that Coffee Pro so that you can see how clear the dial is and you can also see the three markings. So the first one, the orange, has soy written on the side and that's for soy milk. So soy milk heats up at a different rate and it also continues to heat after you've taken the heating, after you've taken the milk proper off it. The next one along is the green colour and that's marked reg and that's for regular milk or low fat milk. The other one is hot and it's got hot written in the side and the red means it's hot and it's for people who like their coffee just a little bit hotter. Those people that ask for hot coffee and they ask you to stick it in the microwave or something, if your people use these types of thermometers, they use the markings properly, then you're going to get quality coffee every time. When people like that quality, they'll come back to you and they'll get the same quality each time because you're using the same thermometer each time. You're using the temperatures to actually maintain your quality of your coffee. This is the Coffee Pro.